Sergey, thank you. <clears throat> Good afternoon. I want to first of all say that I appreciate President Putin and uh, Prime Minister Lavrov for hosting me today. Thank you, sir. We had a frank discussion about many issues, including many places where we disagree. Uh, the United States stands ready uh, to find common ground with Russia uh, as long as the two of us can engage seriously on those issues. Uh, we discussed, as Foreign Minister Lavrov said, uh, many important topics. We talked about terrorism. We talked about Afghanistan. Uh, President Trump's made clear that his expectation is that we will have an improved relationship between our two countries. This will benefit each of our peoples. And I think that our talks here today were a good step in that direction. A few uh, subjects that we talked about. Uh, before Mr. Lavrov mentioned that we spoke about Syria. Uh, we both want to move forward on the political track to bring the suffering of the Syrian people to an end. And we want to do so in a way that ensures that Syria will never again be a haven for Islamist terrorist groups. I also raised our concern about the escalation of the situation around Idlib in the northwest of Syria. We also discussed uh, North Korea and its nuclear program. The United States and Russia agree on the goal of the denuclearization. We'll continue to discuss it. I underscored that we must maintain full implementation of the UN sanctions until the final fully verified denuclearization of North Korea is achieved. And uh, our two teams have been working very closely together on this in a very productive fashion. On Venezuela, uh, we have disagreement. I urge my Russian colleagues to support the Venezuelan people as they return democracy to their country. The United States and more than 50 other nations agree that the time has come for Nicolas Maduro to go. He's brought nothing but misery to the Venezuelan people. And we hope that the Russians' support uh, for Maduro will end. Uh, but despite our, our disagreements, we'll keep talking. I hope we can find a way forward that ends with the humanitarian political crisis that is happening. On this, we both agree. Uh, we also discussed the situation in Ukraine. The Trump administration has been clear that we do not recognize Russia's attempted annexation in Crimea, uh, and we hope that we can continue to move forward. Our sanctions uh, have remained in place. Uh, I urged Russia to reach out to Ukraine's new president to demonstrate leadership by taking steps towards breaking the stalemate. We would in particular welcome the release of the Ukrainian crewmen detained near the Kerch Strait last year, uh, and we talked about implementation and how we might move forward in obtaining a ceasefire in the Donbass region. Uh, we spoke a bit about the activities that are taking place in the Middle East today, with particular focus on the actions uh, that Iran is taking. I made clear that the United States will continue to apply pressure to the regime in Tehran until its leadership is prepared to return to the ranks of responsible nations that do not threaten their neighbors or spread instability or terror. As Foreign Minister Lavrov alluded to, uh, very much on President Trump's mind is arms control. Uh, our actions on the INF Treaty have demonstrated that we're committed to effective arms control that advances U.S. allied and partner security that is verifiable and enforceable. The President has charged his national security team to think more broadly about arms control to include countries beyond our traditional U.S.-Russia framework and a broader range of weapon systems. We, President, wants serious arms control that delivers real security to the American people. And we know, and I think we agree on this, to achieve these go goals, uh, we'll have to work together, and that it would be important that if it's possible, we get China involved as well. Uh, we'll have a more extensive set of conversations, both around arms control and an a, uh, opportunity to discuss all broad strategic security issues between our two countries in the weeks ahead. I also raised the issue of U.S. citizens who have been detained in Russia, making sure that our citizens are not unjustly held abroad as one of President Trump's highest priorities. And we spoke, too, about the question of interference in our domestic affairs. I conveyed that there are things that Russia can do to demonstrate that these types of activities are a thing of the past, and I hope that Russia will take advantage of those opportunities. Finally, uh, I want to emphasize the uh, American friendship with the Russian people. Our two nations share proud histories and respect for one another's cultures. We seek a better relationship with Russia, and we urge that it work alongside us to change the trajectory of the relationship, which will benefit each of our peoples. Thank you, Senator.